Well, somebody's in trouble for parking in a no in a handicap parking spot without the handicap stickers or tag in the window. Yep, you done did it this time, evil Porsche. You done did it this time. But we're going to be making the bay doors, the entry door, and the window, and we are making it current styles. That means it's going to come up about four to five feet and then there's going to be big windows in here same with this one uh, there's going to be mostly glass door here modern door and the window is going to be a modern window so stay tuned okay fine tip pencil mechanical or otherwise card stock all we're going to do is make sure we get the sizes Line it up at the bottom, give it just a little bit extra at the bottom for just a hair at the bottom. Rough, rough outlines of all the all the ways, doors, window, I'll do this to all of them, and then we can start figuring out how we want to lay it out. This is going to be a little challenging. So this is going to be all glass door but the first maybe a foot will be metal. You know because people like kicking doors. Alright and <coughs> we'll go there's three feet, four feet. Should we go at five foot for the window? Yeah, we'll go at five foot for the window. Okay. And how high should we go with the windows? Another five foot? Yeah, we could do another five foot. Five foot for the windows and another five foot. That's where our windows will be for our doors. Now we just gotta figure out how we wanna lay everything out because they're going to be big windows and that area will mostly be cut out and some verticals run in and horizontals so we'll be figuring that out soon remember that plastic I told you to have make sure it's on the ridge side thing is if you need these doors are going to be complicated more than what I normally do but you're going to need a at least five millimeters more on the window and the door. So the window we're going to fit in place so we can leave that pretty much the rectangular shape it is. Just need five millimeter more for a gluing surface.
take the window take the window all the way out to this new marks you want to cut the two in the door because we're going to, we're going to be gluing the paper cardstock material onto these onto the plastic because you can cut the plastic out to the full size and then just come the paper on them. And that may be the way to go. But we gotta do some more work on this and we're gonna prime. We're gonna use regular automotive primer or hobby primer. Not the not the uh, uh, Mod Podge, but regular primer on these so we can get a smoother surface. Uh, you see the dark lines, the more straight lines. Those are the sides we need to cut the plastic. So these will be cut into these sizes. Then we're going to have to build up from there. Don't stress yourself with be on being 100% accurate. This is not studio stuff. This is hobby. This is for a hobby, not snare. And we aren't, we are not in any way trying to detract from the, uh, uh, from the models. The die cast cards are what we're trying to, uh, display here. This is just something to add to the cards. I'm not trying to, we are definitely not trying to overshadow the cars in any way. Okay, this the shapes shown here are templates for what we're doing. You take one of these card stocks, you prime and paint it. You're going to spray paint it and uh, use a dark brown as the paint. Uh, because it'll be smoother, it'll be cleaner. If you were to do this by brush, it would just be uh, not a disappointment. You are to prime both sides of the paper. I'm using, like I was saying before the camera stopped, I'm using red oxide primer. The, uh, uh, the brown the rust. Uh, yeah, it's just, that's my base coat before I put down the brown. Now with all the glass cut, you don't have to worry about, that's some crooked cutting, but now we only have to worry about the uh, uh, framing and doing the frame around the window and doing the doors and waiting for the paint to dry. Yeah, I'm using this brown, using this brown as the, uh, uh, framing color. I buy all my cheap paint at Ollie's. My paint cheap at Ollie's. Yeah, it's still early in the morning. But anyway, I can buy at Ollie's and it's from $1.99 a can to $2.99 a can. One reason these are cut a little larger so they don't fall through. I mean, they may have to be trimmed up. They aren't going to fall through and it'll give us surface to glue and we're going to hot glue we're going to put them in place with a hot glue like four points so that way they could be removed at a later date if you want to go you know if you want to change it up and go with solid doors or what have you you know that you'll have that option you'll be able to just take exacto blade go in there and pry it free and and put a new door on. When the paper has fully dried, you're going to need to cut strips. You're going to need to cut strips. Uh, 
the thickness of the poster board. Cut a lot of strips to the thickness of the poster board, but leave at least half half the uh, uh, paper for uh, other parts. I've cut that brown paper into one millimeter and two millimeter sizes. The one millimeter will go where around the window, and two millimeter will go around the edge. The one millimeter will be doubled up, and also the uh, uh, two millimeter will be additional lengths across. I'm trying to stay within the frame. Trying to stay within the frame for where the door is. I mean, if it's a little longer, it'll be fine. But I have to cut out of that brown paper here. I got to cut that, that, that little space there, and that one there. So I'm going to cut a 25. 25 to 27 millimeter band there and uh, 23 for that one and a probably 12 for that one. Okay, I don't know if these 6,000 is going to affect the clear plastic, but we are going to find out. I already have all the pieces cut, as you can see, for the main part. Taking this little piece right here, and some E6000 on it, and load it on there. And we're going to see what happens. I need to put it somewhere like there. Because if it doesn't affect the plastic, then I can glue the, these panels on this clear plastic. It won't affect the paper. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim. I'm going to clean the corners, but I'm going to trim the inside. With this. Go all around on the inside. On all the doors and window openings. Seems E6000 is okay with plastic. I know it's okay with paper, but... Didn't melt the plastic, didn't distort the plastic, it sticks to plastic. It's going to work great for, for this next step. Which is the gluing. Add on. Add on. Put it on. Put it on and one on the bottom of the door on. And as you see, I've done the inside of the all the openings, even the window opening. And it sure clear cleans up the uh, uh presentation of the uh, building that way. Okay, we want to find the glue. E6000 or shoe glue. Really thin. the part start on the inside make sure everything's lined up pin it down and slide it outward until you reach the point where you need to be and like that
trying to find a place to do this without getting in the way. got a little time to work it so work it into place and then let it dry all glued to put in place I'm going to do a small strip there a small strip there a couple small strips down the middle same with this one this one I'm just going to frame the door just going to frame the window yeah I already put a coat of a matte sealer on both sides of the parking lot and both sides of the fascia because you don't want to put it on when you put this plastic on because if you put mass sealer on after you put this uh, uh, the doors on and stuff the doors will get all fuzzy on you they'll get all clouded and you don't want that so as soon as these are assembled I have to do that for this one and then the window and I think it's still very tacky I keep leaving marks in it should have been dried by now but it eh, hasn't been 24 hours even so I don't know if you can see it or not but I added the middle horizontal line which I'm going to do two of the thinner one, two of the one millimeter pieces going across the uh, center line, and I'm going to do two millimeters on these ones. I'm going to go sort of inside on these two, but this one's the middle, so that one I have to center on. These two I have to go sort of inside, just barely. But it will. But they will assimilate almost the same size windows for the garage doors. But both of these are gonna get the two two one millimeter strips and then filled in. Then I'm gonna for the rest I'm just gonna uh, press in the lines to give the illusion of uh, doors. And they're gonna be equal to that distance right there. So there's gonna be two there, two there. That one only has one, but there will be two there. Entry doors in. Need to wash it. Had something to eat and didn't realize, realize it was kind of greasy, if you will. Yeah, this first attempt kind of flop, failed. It won't go to waste. I guess I keep keep things like that. So I meticulously trim this back until I got it to fit. And all I gotta do is glue a border on it and trim it up and put it back in place. The one door, the big door is 
finished and out of the way and drying, I have to put four verticals in this one, and then it will be ready to go in. It's a good thing these side pieces won't be seen because that looks pretty, pretty ugly. All the window dividers are in place. I gotta run creases down. Here's the deal with the raffle. I'm changing it. Who's already subscribed, I will uh, uh, run the raffle when I get done with this uh, uh, diorama, this fascia diorama, diorama. And who's already subscribed has a chance to win it. All they have to do is like the video and leave a comment. And then I'll run a raffle. I'll run the uh, random uh, name selection generator. Except for the black paper in the back. Pretty much done. I mean, yeah, with all crafting, you know things that are that do not make you happy and stuff. And trust me, there's a lot here that's, in my opinion, is lacking. Especially hard to do with all the glass. As you'll notice the uh, smudges and stuff. They're never intentional, but man, they'll find a way to get there. Alrighty, we are so close to being done. <laughs> All we gotta do is put the black behind the windows now. And then it's ready to... Ready for someone to own it. Here's why you save the black paper. We're just gonna... That one, we'll have to trim this one to fit. You put them in, tack them down, and we'll be right back with you. Alright, the black is behind all the glass. I've done everything so that way the paper could be ripped off with minor damage. And the doors can be replaced because I only glued them at four points. Uh, even the window in that door, you could go totally old school garage with it if you want. But all I need is uh, your garage sign up top, either over here or up top here. It's ready for its owner, ready for its new home. <laughs> 